In this tutorial, I will uh, show the basic way to develop any web application using Python on Windows. There are many packages exist in Python uh, for developing web applications, and I have used web.py framework uh, for starting the work of web development. Uh, before uh, starting this tutorial, you have to install um, the web.py framework. And before installing web.py, you have to check the current version of your Python. If you have multiple versions in your system, then you must uh, uh, remove all versions and, and keep uh, any one version of Python to install in the web file. Uh, if you are using uh, Ubuntu 20, then by default 3.8 is the default Python, then uh, you will not face any problem installing this framework. So it will check the version of the Python and it will install the P3 package for Python 3 to install the web.py and this command will install uh, web.py of version 0.60 using P3. I am not running this command because I have already set up this command and installed the web.py framework in my system. So, in this step, uh, you have to create the project folder where you will keep the Python files and HTML files. So, open the terminal and first project folder. Go to the project folder and bin folder. Go to the bin folder and then that folder. Okay, our necessary folder is created. Here all Python script will be stored in bin folder and HTML file will be stored in template folder. Okay. Now it's the first script to run the local server. In the first line, web module is imported here, and in the URL variable uh, used here, that means when the slash is used or um, the root you are in the US, then you can call the index class. And the ABP object is, is created to run the uh, local server in the computer. And uh, it, it is using the URL value and global mapper. And uh, if the framework works properly, then this uh, if condition will be true and it will run mapper. And when uh, the local server will run, then it will call the uh, class index and uh, the method of get method of the index class, and that assign a value to the greeting variable that will be returned to the browser. Okay. First of all, I will save the file uh, inside the bin folder with by extension. Project and bin. Okay, now you can run this here or you can use terminal and use the terminal here. Yes. Python 3 and ABP dot five. If this uh, you are letters that means your server is running and you can uh, check the URL from the browser. You can see the value of the grading is displaying here. Okay, now I will uh, go to the second example. In the second example, uh, shows how you can uh, uh, display formatted value using HTML in the browser using the Python script. So uh, this is the is content of the HTML file. I 
will explain uh, the step later. First of all, I will save it inside the template folder, which is under bean folder. Project template and I will use this index.html. index.html okay. this is under the template index.html and uh, the script that will call this html file is this one Okay, here a new object variable render is declared uh, that will search HTML file inside the template folder. And other code is the same, and uh, at the time of return, uh, it is calling render.index. That means it will search index.html inside the template folder with the parameter value rating with the value assigned in the rating. So, first of all, save the file inside the bean folder, not template folder. So, give the name uh, is equal to the file. Okay, now I will run the script from here. It is equal to and go to the browser and refresh how it works if I go to the HTML file uh, the parameter name that you have used here rating will be used with that here same parameter name will be used here that will contain the value of this variable rating which is hello world and in this uh, condition, if you check, is rating contain any value? If rating is not empty, then it will print the value of dollar rating with font color blue and font size and italic format. And if rating, the value of the rating parameter is empty, then it will print just hello world where hello will be italic. Uh, here getting value contains uh, getting a variable contains the value hello grading so this line is executed and this is how it is showing in the third example if you want to <coughs> send any form that uh, we have not designed any HTML form yet that will be shown in the uh, next example so, suppose we have a form uh, with the same name that contains the value nobody. In this case, how it works? First, save the value with abc3.py inside the bean folder. And uh, form variable uh, will store the uh, form field value name, which is nobody now. Uh, after that, I will show you how you can send data from it in the HTML form. So here, name contains the value nobody, and the grading the value of the name is complete with the hello, and which is returned to the index.html file. There is another uh, new change in this script that is you have to write hello after the base URL. Then it will call the index class and this code will be executed. So uh, we we'll run the script first on local server first. It will be 3 
dot by after local host hello then you can see I just want it to the hello nigger which is the value of the name cell okay now go to the example 4 here two field values are passed and uh, one value is set two field values are grid and name and name value is set nobody but grid no value is set or fit in that case how it will work it is Around the screen on the browser, you have to run the server with ATP3. Sorry, ATP4. Okay. Now, if I refresh it, then it is showing long arrow. That means no value is set for grip. In this situation, how you can handle this type of error? That is shown in the example 5. Here, it checks the value of form gauge. If gauge is empty, then it will show error grade is required. Otherwise, it will uh, print the values of the method that we first in. Okay, now I will save the file with ATP5. And drop the script. And if I refresh the URL, now you can see. Uh, you can find the value of grid fill and it is showing the error of the else section because this condition is false and it goes here. And uh, now I will show the example 6 that will create an HTML file, another HTML file. And this will show how you can work with multiple HTML in Python. Web server. The name of the uh, file is hello underscore form dot chain. Set the file, of course, inside the template folder. Hello underscore form dot HTML. Save. It is HTML file, not Python file. And here a simple form is designed with post method and it will return to the URL slash hello. And two fields are grid and name. And now uh, create the Python script to use this HTML. Uh, to use this HTML, here two methods is used. One is get, and second is post. First of all, when uh, the slash hello URL is run from the browser, then it will go to the get method, and it will search the hello underscore form that is HTML inside the template folder. Then the form will be displayed. After submitting the form. The form is submitted using post method, so this post function will be called and it will uh, read the values of name, tail, and grade field. And if no value is set for name and grade, then it will set the default value 
nobody can leave and have a full grip. And here in the format of value state in the creating variable which is passed to the index dot HTML. In this way, these two HTML files will be used. So now I will check the Python part inside the main folder that is the app dot it. Forming that right here. If I now done something here, and submit that, then you can see it's showing the object. I just want to compute and inform it. If I didn't type anything, I just want to see that is empty values are read here. And if I search, uh, just one value submit and then one value is read here. But uh, if I use the form and uh, then it will uh, read the form values from the user and this default value are not used in here that is shown here. A PPC that is not generated. If no form is used then this value will be set. But if you use any form and submit the form blank, then blank value will be read. And if you set the value for this one, then that, those values will be read. And last example, example 7, using layout. Uh, that means uh, here two, two HTML are used here, index HTML and hello under the form HTML. And, uh, this part is uh, common here, is HTML here, body. This is both are common. If you uh, want to uh, set the common part in uh, file, then you, uh, you can use the layout. So, now uh, here, change the index.html file just with the uh, part uh, where the value of the building is uh, read and display. So I will change the index.html with this script. And, uh, and hello form HTML just with the form. another HTML file layout that will catch the content of each HTML file. And the file name will be layout.html inside the template folder. Okay, now here is the Python file to combine this layout with the HTML file. Okay, how it works. Here another uh, parameter we will test. Uh, base that is uh, set to layout, the name of the layout or HTML, and other codes are just same. That means uh, it will uh, set or uh, the value of the content will contain the uh, content of the uh, index.html when index.html is called and Hello underscore form.html when it is called. So 
it will uh, merge depend from the uh, render object when render dot index is called then the container will be passed by this layout dot stm and when hello form uh, hello underscore form is called then the container of this hello underscore form dot stm will be passed by layout now I will uh, save the file which has been folded with the a to b seven. Okay, now I will run the script. Then there is no change in the output, but everything is passed using layout.html. In this way, you can work with multiple HTML files with passing scripts to design your application. Thank you for watching.